and say that I know that our city is already doing a study about our solid waste and, and what the future and the fees may look like with that, as well as a cost-effective approach on what the recycling program will cost. And I am certain that they will bring back factual information that makes it obvious to everybody what the right decision is. First off, I have to say that I was an unpaid consultant. I have no ownership in the company. Uh, we went through so there would be no uh, look of impropriety in that process. We wanted to pay the city $30 a ton. We did not want the city to pay us a penny. That, by generating that $30 a ton for solid waste, we were going to give the money back to the citizens uh, through education. We're going to give it back on the bill. We feel like that you should be a willing partner to make our environment better for everybody. Thank you. Our third question of the evening. This one goes to you first, Mr. Young. Uh, sales tax revenue has fallen in clean over the past six months. In your opinion, what needs to be done to reverse this trend? Sales tax revenue falls for a number of reasons. A lot of the reasons are from the standpoint of, I believe people in, in general have less money to spend because of higher taxes, because of uh, burdens, unfunded mandates that are put upon them. I believe that we have a stagnation of business in the city of Killeen. I'm looking forward to some of the new businesses that are coming. But we've got to do more than just attract the new business. We have to attract jobs. Have, and when you have jobs and people have meaningful incomes, and I'm, I'm not talking about minimum wage jobs, I'm talking about jobs that pay in the $14 to $22 an hour range, then you have people who have available funds to spend on local economy. Sales tax rates <coughs> will go up. As a city, we have had barriers to, to business coming in, and uh, barriers to small business beginning. So when we remove those barriers, we encourage small business to come into our, into our city, they increase employment, and people have more money to spend on the local economy, and the economy will be in abundance. Chart, Sam. Can you repeat the question? I didn't hear it further, I'm sorry. Uh, sales tax revenue. Sales tax revenue has fallen in clean over the past six months. In your opinion, what needs to be done to reverse this trend? In my opinion, what needs to be done to reverse this is improve the business climate by uh, uh, revitalizing a, our city council and uh, making them more business friendly. We need to develop that airport. We've got a world-class airport. We need an extra one way. We need big jets to come in here, not just jets. And, uh, we, and uh, I'll work as your mayor to get Southwest to come in. We have a number of incentives we can use, tax-free zones, all different kinds of things. The only thing we'll ask is matching Austin figures. That'll uh, draw us the whole surrounding drivable community. And uh, that will certainly bring us good jobs. But uh, we, it's very difficult to do anything when you have a city council that's, uh, that's not generating a positive uh, business plan. Thank you. <coughs> No, I, I've got it. Cert, certainly, uh, sales taxes, they, they trend over multi months, and, and you can't look at a certain month or two and say that, say that that is a trend. And I believe that those sales tax numbers will come back and, and that our budget will be fine. And, and uh, even if they continue to lag slightly, the city staff would address those issues by cutting back in their budget and pulling back. So I'm not concerned about it from a city budget standpoint. But what we need to do to improve or increase our sales tax revenues is to, to increase commerce and encourage commerce. And, and uh, many of the ways we do that is by keeping our biggest asset, Fort Hood, strong and, and very well staffed. And we need to work through the Chamber of Commerce and the Defense Alliance to make sure that that occurs. But another way that we will see our sales tax grow and our community grow is through the development of roadways. For instance, 2410 in the US 190 project is going to lead to the La Costada project, which is going to be the largest retail center in Central Texas. And it's approximately 250 acres, and that is going to begin to come to fruition very quickly. And that will definitely have a major impact competing with our surrounding cities. 